This local sports report is presented by the Victus Academy, building excellence in academics, hockey, and leadership. Check out their website for more information at victusacademy.com or give them a call at 519-219-5900. They were chanting her name during the commitment ceremony. Students and staff at Victus Academy, proud to see one of their own earn a Division I scholarship. Ava Murphy is heading to NCAA Women's Hockey, joining the Wisconsin Badgers in the fall of 2023. I'm super excited to become a Badger. Um, you know, you kind of work your whole life. You put a lot of hours on the ice and in the gym, and the end result, you're hoping to play D1 hockey. It has definitely been a process, and my family has been, like, great throughout the whole thing, but we're all so excited. Um, like I said, you look forward to this. I know my parents are super excited to watch me play when I get to university. Um, and, yeah, my family has done so much for me and to for them to be a part of it and see it like finally happening and my dreams coming true I think it really is special for um, all seven of us for sure. <laughs> Murphy is joining a powerhouse program with a long tradition of success. The Badgers have six national NCAA championships including two recent titles in 2019 and 2021. They obviously have an amazing women's hockey program. I think you're going to be on the ice with the best players at all time so you're really going to be pushed as an athlete to be the best you can be. Um, their coaching staff is amazing. They have so much experience and I know that under their lead um, they can help me reach my NCAA goals and my goals after college hockey. Uh, something that really stood out to me on my official visit was the support system Wisconsin has. They have about 2,300 fans. They sell out so having the ability to play uh, at a full house for every home game is pretty special. Growing up, the 16-year-old spent four years playing AAA boys hockey in Kitchener. Murphy says she loved being a junior ranger and is grateful for the opportunities KMHA provided during her days in minor hockey. When I played boys hockey in Kitchener, it was like honestly one of the best experiences of my life. I have so many people to thank because of it, like Neil Morgan. Um, he first took me on the team and gave me the opportunity to play with them, um, even though they already had a very successful team with the group of boys. And then Ryan Baird, he actually went from center to defense and he kind of showed me what to do, the ins and outs of the position, and I'm like forever grateful for the opportunity. I think it really helped me grow um, as a hockey player and of course how you have to be uh, like so motivated on and off the ice and just seeing like the hours the boys put into it and then like having to compete with them and play with them I think it really helped me grow. From Kitchener Murphy moved into junior hockey with the Oakville Hornets. She has spent the last two seasons in the PWHL in Oakville playing under head coach Stacy McConnell. Oakville, like I honestly can't say thank you enough. They've been so great to me um, for my, my time I've been there. Uh, the coaches are just, the drills they do and the practices they set up, they put so much time. Um, my coach, Stacey McConnell, she's like the most dedicated person I've ever seen. She's like there way before all of us players. She makes the drive and um, she really cares about us as individuals. Like the amount of player meetings I have, setting goals and how we're going to reach them is just um, a way that Oakville has really separated themselves and I'm forever grateful for um, everything they've done for me. They've been uh, so supportive. Mike Ellis from the Victus Academy has been another influential figure in Murphy's success. I think what they see in Ava is a, a very nice blend of, of, of skill, smarts, power, strength. So she, she has all the components that are necessary to be successful in the NCAA. I think she she's still growing like, like all players, but I do feel at such a young age right now of 16, it's so impressive that she's committed there. Ellis is very detail-oriented, working on position-specific training with the players. Murphy describes herself as a two-way playmaking defender who also has a physical side to her game. It's definitely helped me grow and become a lot stronger over the four years I've been here. Um, being on the ice with the guys, having to play at their speed with their physicality, it's definitely helped bring it back over to my PWHL leagues. 
Um, but yeah, it's, we have so many laughs too. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it is so much fun here. All the guys, we just like joke around. We always have a good time. We have the same passion. We all wanna become successful in hockey. And I think um, all of like our attitudes really get along because of that. And it's like a big kind of camp feeling. So I love it here. Like, just has always been, been great. And I think it's really helped me grow as a player. She embodies everything that we try and instill here. First of all, she's an academic student who has excelled, and she's been able to mirror that with her hockey talents. That's what Victus is all about. She embodies this is what it takes. She goes above and beyond in the classroom. She goes above and beyond in the ice. She's able to bring that all together. On top of that, she's a great, exceptional character. She exudes confidence. She exudes personality and is really a role model for all the students. Here at Victus, we, we make sure each player is treated as an individual an individual that has individual needs that are going to help them get to where they want to go. So often we're in that positional specific, like today for Ava on the power play, working the top of the power play, uh, using deception, using options, understanding the options before she gets the puck. Um, she does a brilliant job of that. Four years at Victus making a major difference for Murphy. Now she's preparing for the next chapter, becoming a Badger. She gave these shout outs and thank yous to end our interview. Of course my family, um, and especially my parents, they've been like my biggest supporters and I can't even like say how many hours they've dedicated for me to play hockey. Like I wouldn't be standing here doing this interview if it wasn't for them. Um, and then like I said, Neil Morgan, Ryan Baird, they really had an impact on my hockey career from the start. They kind of showed me what it was like to be um, a hardworking athlete. And then moving forwards to the Oakville Hornets, of course, the organization itself has just done so much for me as well as the coaches. Um, and then I want to thank Mike Ellis because he has done so much for me. Like on the ice, he's really taught me the ropes. He's been amazing. And I really look up to him as a person. He's fantastic. Um, and then Tyler uh, Bracken, he was one of my coaches in boys hockey as well and he just managed to stay connected, always checking in, getting ice for me when I can, doing workouts and stuff. So um, it's hard to name like so many, like I want to name so many people because everyone has been so amazing to me and obviously um, I've had so many people um, that have impacted me and inspired me in my hockey career this far. So yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful for everyone that has kind of touched my career in a way. I'm really grateful for the path I've been able to have. Like, I, not many people are able to um, have the opportunity to play hockey and come to a school like this. So uh, I'm definitely, I feel like I've had so much happen in my life. I've met so many amazing people. I've played for all these different teams, and I feel like it's really helped me grow as a person. Like, I've learned so many life lessons that um, I may not have if I didn't have these opportunities. So, yeah. So I'm only 16 so far, but I feel like I've... Um, I've learned a lot in the 16 years, that's for sure, yeah. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.